All right, here we go. Creating ads with Wands 2.2 video model. You can swap out avatars, create UGC style ads and a lot more. Before we jump into the step-by-step -step breakdown, let's take a look at this video I made. I used to avoid smiling in photos because my teeth were so stained from coffee. Then I switched to Colgate's whitening toothpaste and honestly, two weeks in, I started noticing a difference. Now I'm that person who smiles in every picture. It's like $6 at any drugstore, just go rabbit your smile, thank you. Pretty freaking cool. You can film a single ad video and then swap out with infinite avatar characters to test across dozens of personas and audiences. So here's the step-by-step -step process that I use and that we're gonna walk through in this video to create ads and videos like this. Step one, obviously you have to come up with your ad concept and the script for it. What I do, this was very basic, I just jumped into Claude and said, hey, write me a simple UGC style advertising script for a Colgate tube of toothpaste Keep it short, like 25 seconds, just because this is the toothpaste I use to brush my teeth and I wanted to create a <laughs> consumer goods style example. So Claude gave me the script. Next, I filmed that script. DSLR camera straight on me, me speaking into a teleprompter. So those two steps are fairly self-explanatory. Next, we're going to need to grab a screenshot of the base shot from the filming section. So if I pull up the video file from the film that I shot, I'm just going to stop it on a frame and I'm going to screenshot this image. So we'll do that just like this, boom. And now we have the screen grab of that shot. All right, next up is creating the avatars that you want delivering the script, or essentially the folks that you want swapping out with yourself. So you can use any image generation model of your choosing, whatever your preferred stack is. I'm here in free pick, and here's the prompt that I was using. A realistic, slightly imperfect photo of a regular blonde woman in her late 20s standing in her bathroom, looking directly at the camera. You get the idea. So we'll use prompts like this to just generate the personas that we want delivering the scripts in our ads. Okay, so we've created our AI avatars. Now we need to swap out the AI avatars with the subject in the screen grab image that we snagged. By the way, y'all, if you want all the prompts that are powering every single step of this flow, I'm gonna post them all to our AI Automation Mastery School community. It's completely free to join. You'll just navigate to the YouTube AI tutorials and you'll be able to download all of the prompts powering this workflow. Okay, so next we're gonna swap in the avatar that we created into the scene from the filming session that I did. So we'll take the image of the avatar that we generated as well as upload the image of me holding the tube of toothpaste from the screen grab that we took from the camera shot. And then we'll run this prompt. Replace the man from image two with the woman from image one. Keep identical camera angle, framing, background lighting, pose composition, and depth of field from the first image, etc. long prompt. Ultimately, to land on this image that is placing our AI avatar in the exact scene of my camera shot. So now we've swapped our AI avatars with my subject in the image, and now we have the base image to generate from. Next, we'll use WAN 2.2 to generate the avatar speaking the same script in the same video shot as me. So here we're in WAN and we'll go to avatar as the option and then character swap. And then we'll be able to upload our target video, which is the video of me speaking the script. Okay, real talk. I used to avoid smiling in photos because my teeth we're so stained from coffee. Then we'll also upload the character image that we just created. Then we'll click generate. It costs like 30 credits in one. And we'll get this new footage of the AI avatar coming to life, speaking the script, still in my voice though. Okay, real talk. I used to avoid smiling in photos because my teeth were so stained from coffee. So we have the... We have the footage now, and now we're going to use Eleven Labs to give them a more realistic voice for the AI avatar character. So here in Eleven Labs, I simply upload the vocal track of me speaking the script. Okay, real talk. I used to avoid smiling in photos because my teeth. So that's the vocal track. Then we'll select a voice that we want to transform it into. One of the voices I used was this Leighton Apathetic Valley girl. Oh, she's mad now. Oh, would you look at that? Nice. Then we'll generate the speech and it will change my talking with that voice. And we can see that here. Photos because my teeth were so stained from coffee. 
Then I switch to Colgate's whitening toothpaste. Nice. So then we'll download that and we'll generate a vocal track for each of the AI avatars that we want to animate. Lastly, we're going to bring everything together in your video editing software of choice. I use CapCut. So here we're in CapCut. We can see that the bass roll is my original camera shot. Then I'm layering on top the video that we generated with Juan for this character you can see here. And I'm also throwing the original video in the corner so that it's obvious to the audience that I'm controlling the avatar. Lastly, we'll sync the 11 labs generated vocal tracks for each character, package it all up, and then we have a video like this. It's smiling in photos because my teeth were so stained from coffee. So that's the last step, and now we have this video. Obviously, this is a lot of steps with some technical components and stitching together a bunch of AI tools to get to this output. But if you want to use this same type of tech to automatically generate extremely effective ads for your company, you'll be able to skip all those technical steps by just using Fabric AI, which is the AI ad generation product that my team and I have been working on for months. This product is going to be freaking sweet, and I would love for you guys to try it out. It's not live yet, but we have it up this landing page. So please join the waitlist if you liked this content, and then you'll get early access to Fabric when it goes live in the coming weeks. All right, that's all I got for now. Let me know in the comments how you liked this video, where you're watching from, and what you'd like me to automate next. We'll see you next time. All right. Before you go, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Seriously, do it, because we're gonna be breaking down all of the AI automations that we use to run all of our businesses. They're super helpful, and we're gonna break down exactly how we do them on this YouTube channel. So make sure to like and then subscribe, and then you'll get notified when we publish new workflows that can make your businesses run 20 times more efficiently, just like we're seeing here at The Recap and the other businesses that we're running. Um, the other item is join our school community for free. The link's in the description. Um, you'll be able to get this template, this automation that we just ran through in this video, completely for free. You can go to school, and navigate to the video that you want, and then you can download the JSON output for the N8N automation. With that, you can upload it into your N8N, clone it, and then you know tune it for your business and your use cases. So like and subscribe. Join our free community to get this automation for yourself and we'll see you in the next video.